Well, there's a bit of the British countryside. There's a bit of land I've been trying to get permission to detect for some years now. There's a lot of history in this area and the village uh, dates back pre-12th century. Uh, so I'm going to go up ahead in that field there and uh, have a little dig. Well, this is my third hole. Let's see what this one is. Well, actually, there it is there. I can see it right in there. I can see a bit of copper. Ah, sitting at 45 degrees. Ah, what a shame. A modern two pence piece. Oh well, carry on. Well, I've been searching along this uh, fence line for a while now, and there's a lot of uh, scrap iron and stuff in there. And this one looks like another, although that's not iron, it's uh, because of its green hue, it's got to be uh, copper, I would have thought. But uh, anyway, we'll have a round up at the end. Well, this one looks like a bit of a more promising signal. Oh, there we have something in there. Looks like a looks like a half p. We need silver. Not copper. Yeah. Oh, that's a penny, I think. Yeah, a penny. Well, here's this one. I think we can recognise that. Looks like a toy truck. Another good signal here, and I'll just split this open. And as you can see there, hopefully can. looks like a pocket spill. See the pattern of the coin in the soil there? Yep, definitely a pocket spill. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven coins in there. We'll have a look at them later. They're all modern, unfortunately. There you go. And my first older coin there. Let's see where it come out of the soil there. So, yeah. Uh, it's worth a second old penny. I can't see the date yet, but I'll have a look at that later. And straight away, another little find within a foot. Uh, oh, oh, the old brass threepence. Ah, so this is interesting because obviously it's two old coins in a row now. So I'm going to uh, crank up searching in this area a bit more. Now, this one looks a bit more interesting. I just spotted it over here. May not be, of course, but see that coppery tone? It's probably a washer or a bottle cap. Oh, I don't actually know what it is yet. Ah, some flipping brass washer. Yeah, got all excited. And another one by the look of it. What's this one? Uh, oh, there's an old penny again. So there's another signal right next to it. And what have we got here? You can see the imprint on the soil there. And there's the coin. George. Well, I'll have a look at that later. Well, yeah, I'm actually having some quite a few finds. That one actually, no, it's modern. It's a pound coin. Doesn't look like it, but I'll show you about them later. And another uh, double find. Where is it? Oh, what's that? Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> I thought it was silver. It's obviously a ring, just uh, 
can see the copper underneath it there, can't you? Well, a ring nevertheless. Well, I've just picked up a whole bunch of uh, two pence pieces all in close proximity to each other and uh, then I've got another pound coin. Oh, another interesting uh, signal here. And I just spot it that's it falling out the hole. I see a nice bit of verdigris there. We'll have a look at that later, see which monarch it is. Or one of the kings. Anyway, we'll have a look at that later. It's getting flipping bitterly cold out here now, but uh, another interesting signal here. And I just thought, uh, for those that don't do detecting, I'd just uh, give you a quick uh, check your hole, check your plug, nothing. Uh, I've unplugged my headphones, so those that can, haven't got detectors can hear. And there it is. Somewhere. There we go. Another half penny by the look of it. Watch again. Nothing earlier than that so far. Anyway, back to detecting before I freeze to death. Well, no sign of silver today, but plenty of copper. As you can see, there's another. lost count of how many holes I've actually uh, dug well yeah a lot um, but, or of how many finds I've had but uh, here's another one looks like possibly another pound coin yep I do believe so right so a quick round up before I go that's obviously some sort of uh, tool axe or something not Iron Age I don't think <laughs> um, all sorts of bits of iron farmyard iron tent pegs don't know what that is uh, don't know what that is I'll have a look at what's up. Um, all that A horseshoe. That's uh, intriguing. That's iron. But well, whether it's uh, farm machinery iron or World War Two, because um, this area does have a lot of uh, World War Two relics. Looks like another horseshoe there. On some more interesting bits. An old nail there. A couple of old nails. A little tag. I don't know what that is. Not sure what that is, but it thinks brass or copper leaf. No idea what that is either. I'll have a look once it's cleaned. That I recognise, but I can't think what it is off the top of my head. It's brass. Um, that looks like some sort of cap. Uh, obviously, the little jeep that you saw earlier. It was actually a jeep, not a truck. That is lead I believe uh, by the weight of it but I don't know what it is yet that's also another lump of lead uh, more lead or something I'm guessing bits of brass buckles that looks like a decorative brass bed end or something spoon Another little brass decorative thing there. Uh, shotgun case. 
Uh, oh, anyway, there's my little copper ring. Um, this I think is all modern until I've cleaned it up. I'll, I'll have a look uh, later and see what it is. But as you can see, it's quite a haul for an afternoon. So a nice little spot. Um, and that's all the earlier pennies, half pennies. And I just picked up that farthing on my way back. Anyway, we'll have a look at this when I've cleaned it up. <laughs> 